190 inch giant Alberta muley. It was one of the craziest track jobs I've ever been on in my life. Have you ever had a chance to hunt mule deer with a bow? And would you if given the opportunity? I'm Matt Drury and this is DOD TV. I'm kinda on my game today. <laughs> This segment of DOD TV is brought to you by PSE's Carbon Air Experience Performance. Each September, Mark heads up to Alberta to hunt mule deer. Each September, Mark Drury heads up to Alberta. I spoke too soon. <laughs> kind of on my game today. Kind of on my game. I deserve all of this. Each September, Mark heads to Alberta to hunt mule deer with friend and guide Corey Jarvis, who owns Three Rivers Hunting Adventures. A couple years back, Corey acquired a new piece of dirt that he was just thrilled to take Mark to. After scouting the property, they quickly realized there were some giants calling that place home. We got some giants. There's three really big frame deer up on that hill. We're just waiting for them to get over, then we're going to try and get in a better position. Finally, out in the middle of this canola field, we discover this hidden waterway. It's not five, six foot tall canola. It's grass that's about knee height. We're wondering whether we're gonna get any pre-roll of these deer coming in because they're in the canola and heading for this waterway. So we've gotta stay low, get within range, and then cross our collective fingers as tightly as we can cross them. What we've learned about these deer is they generally stay in these prayer trails because the canola is so thick. We're hoping that on natural movement they come into this low area, this waterway, and start feeding on this grass, which we've seen them do from a distance. There are all three of these are shooters, so if I get a shot, I'm shooting any one of the three. This is gonna happen fast, and the thing we've learned with these muleys is it takes a team. Wade's filming, Mark's running the bow, and I'm running the rangefinder. It takes all of that to get one of these big guys on the ground. Got him. Got him. I hit him back, but I got him. Beautiful wide, eight by seven. We've seen this deer two or three different times. He came out and gave me a shot. My hip is back, so we're, we're gonna make sure we don't bump this deer, but we will get this deer. All of us agreed on this. If we bump him and he's out in that canola, we'll probably never find him again. However, if we back out, play it safe, we're gonna find that mule deer tomorrow morning. We felt confident of that. All we gotta do is find one, one mule deer. Mule deer out in the middle of that. We're finding a little blood here and there. And then we're like, this is a needle in a haystack. How are we gonna do this? So we all just split up and start walking the sprayer tracks. It was one of the craziest track jobs I've ever been on in my life. Corey, look to your right, buddy. Look right, 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 right. <laughs> awesome, man. <laughs> All right. Woohoo! Bam! Awesome. Bam! We are not joking when we say needle in the haystack. Thank you so much, Mr. Jarvis. Good job. I mean, it took us a little bit this morning, but we. We got him. What would you call this in mule deer terms? I mean, if I was in whitetail terms, I'd call him a 15 or 16 point buck, but that's not <laughs> what he is. Yeah, I mean, you just split it in half. You're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight by six. Eight, eight by, by six. six. So I'd call him a 14 point buck. <laughs> awesome deer, man. Congratulations, Jared. You too, Mark. <laughs> Thank you, Corey. Fantastic. New dirt has been conquered. You know, I think the best part of this hunt was Mark and Wade's camo skills in the canola. Nice work, Mark. That does it for this episode of DOD TV. We'll see you guys every Monday and Thursday.